makes a mess of the house every time I leave. ceremony and I never wore the veil for you. If you don't have time to buy me a wedding dress, at least let me get a veil in here. Guys, we need to start. Uh, three, two, one, ready? <coughs> <laughs> uh, you wanna see? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, no, we'll do no. it again. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah, just one more. Do it again. Okay. Three, two, one. Ready? Not good. Not good. Yeah, just one more. Just one more. Right, three, two, one. Ready? You haven't been here for a full five days. I just had a dream. That means Alicia must be near. Maybe she misses you. You always did neglect her in that respect. Yes, I know. I know that Alicia is better at expressing her love than I am. And in your eyes, you all think that I don't love your mother. I mean, you never told her. Wait, wait. There's, there's something. Yes, yes. yes. What? Dad, Dad, what is it? I know. There's something. Alicia, I knew that I'd not been able to put on your white veil myself at the most important time of your life. Whether it was the rush of time or the running around and the busyness of life later on in our lives. But this was no excuse. So, I know that I love you, and sometimes you wear a veil, and sometimes not, both of which are equally important. How many times have I told you not to put your socks in my silk scarves? When I saw your perfume, it occurred to me that you were both a meticulous and a ritualistic woman, both at the same time. I like the day before you passed away. You had carefully sprayed your body all over with cherry blossom scented perfume. I have never deliberately thought of you, but whenever I see the house in a dirty state, dusty walls and my rubbish piled up. If you were still with me, you would be angry and complain about me and then go and clean up. Yes, I love you, Alisa. <laughs> <laughs> 